So hopefully you tried to figure out at least one quadrant of values. And here is a completed unit circle that you can find on D2L. You are going to print this and live by this for a couple weeks until it really is cemented in your brain. And you really want it to be. Um, I know this term is different with uh, everything being remote, uh, but in calculus and engineering, you know, they're going to re ask you for certain values and you want to be able to calculate them quickly. So you want this to be locked in your memory. Um, we're going to just talk about ways to memorize this. So we talked about the angle degrees. We talked about how to figure out the angles in radians. And then hopefully it's sitting well with you of where these values are coming from for our coordinates. Well, if you can see a pattern here, these things are simply being reflected and we're getting the same exact values except based on location one might be negative or positive. So if I go down here I have this one, I go down here, I have this one, I go down here, I have this one except I'm in quadrant three so both are negative. And now I could reflect over here again same values just some are negative and some are positive. So really what I'm getting at here is you really have to just memorize this first quadrant for your coordinates. And then they're all reflected throughout the entire unit circle because of that pattern, right? They're either 15 degrees apart or 30 degrees apart. Now for the radians, to have that locked into your memory is if you pay attention to your denominators, if you reflect, well, that denominator is 6, that denominator is 4, that denominator is 3, that denominator is 3. I'm going to reflect down here. Oh, that denominator is also 6, that denominator is also 4, 3. Reflect, 3, 4, 6. Okay, so again, if you have that first quadrant locked down, you can reflect all the other points throughout the entire circle. Now, for the technique for the numerators, well, this is just pi in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, your numerators are one less than the denominator. In the third quadrant, your numerators are one more than the denominator. And this technique a student showed me, which I really liked. In the fourth quadrant, if I connect my denominators from the second to the third, right? Well, what's 2 plus 3? It gives me that 5. And then here, the 3 and the 4 give me that 7. And then the 5 and the 6 give me that 11. All right. So again, this is going to be really important because you'll see further into the lesson, um, you're going to have to calculate like sine of 11 pi over 6 quickly. And it's all, all this information is given here in the unit circle. So hopefully this makes sense. I would even try filling out a blank one on your own to see if it's clicking. All right, see you next time.